you are watching a show in order to make your quality of life seem better. Your quality of life is probably not very good and you should quit watching the show in order to work on your life. So say it, the wizard. Perception is not reality. Watching the Bastards News Network. Hello, gentlemen and gentlemen, and welcome back to Balls and Balls. We're discussing one issue today, and that is Obama and the Democrats push to raise the minimum wage. To discuss this issue, I have live via satellite from some armpit shithole in Texas, Tex McAmerica, oil and gas industry lobbyist. How are you today, sir? Rad as rain on the Texas plain. I don't understand what you said, and I don't give a shit. To my right, we have some congressman from some liberal hellhole, probably New Jersey, pretending he cares about poor people. What is your name's name? Liberal. Don't give a shit. The point is, we're talking about the minimum wage. Minimum wage, minimum wage, minimum wage. Text your thoughts. Seven fifty an hour? Small business. Economy. No. Seven fifty an hour. Living wage. Economy. So, Tex, if I'm to understand you, you are trying to pretend that this, this minimum wage hike would affect small businesses, when in reality it will affect the industries that write your paycheck. And, Congressman, you are cynically pandering to poor people by pretending that your campaign is not bankrolled by this, those exact same corporations. <laughs> Fair enough. At least you're honest with yourself. More thoughts! Welfare! Handouts! Mooches! No! Food stamps, shrinking benefits, victims of circumstance. So if I'm to understand you, Tex, you think poor people are poor because they just didn't ask their rich parents to loan them enough money when they were young. And I don't understand you, but I believe you're trying to tell me that you crumple at the first sign of pressure because your parents gave you too much money? You're not wrong. Fair enough, fair enough. Any other thoughts on the issue, gentlemen? Nuclear families, pure-blooded Americans. Opportunity, lower class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like these balls are even too hairy for me to handle. To get another view on the issue, let's get a celebrity in here. Fresh off of having his dick cut off on Game of Thrones or something, here's Freon Killjoy. How are you today, sir? Why, thank you, Tad. I am rather famous. You terrify me, and the fact that you are on the news sickens me and makes me sad for our future. Any more thoughts on this issue, gentlemen? Tex! Bootstraps! Bootstraps! No! Bootstraps! No! Bootstraps! Bootstraps. Oh my god, I cannot believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we have wasted your time with two commentators and one celebrity. This is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. We should have been wasting your time with seven commentators and at least ten more celebrities. Bring them all in here. Yes. 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 Yes.
Well, as you can see, gentlemen, sometimes our balls get sticky on the show. And if you balls are as hot and sticky and hairy as ours, maybe you'd like to have an ice cold beer that's as cold and dead as the heart of your elected representative. And now a message from our sponsor, Bushka Mills. So what can I get for you? I'll have the coldest beer you got. Well, that's Bushker Mill Zero K. It's the coldest substance known to man. I'll well, say, fella, a lot of people claim their beer is cold. How do I know you're not putting me on? Bushker Mill Zero K. It's a beer so cold it's not moving on a subatomic level. Just look at this guy. I don't think I'm really convinced. Can is blue. Oh man, that is cool. Oh! Oh! Pushkin Mill Zero K is not to be operated by the special handling gloves. The user assumes all responsibility for serious injury or necrosis resulting from improper handling of Zero K. Zero K is more a scientific experiment than a beer. Still awaiting FDA approval. Please drink responsibly. Pushkin Mill Zero K! You with the face, you're next. No. What's so. up? Hi, Doc. You're gonna have to take your arm. Wait, what? I don't understand. I just came in for a flu shot. What do you mean you don't? Well, I, I don't understand. I, I came in for a flu shot. Oh, right. Yo, uh, hey, can you send in the Spanish interrupter, please? And thank you. Interrupters? Don't you mean... Sir, only one of the people in this room attended medical school. I don't think it was you or Pablo, so why don't we just listen to what the doctor orders about that? <laughs> Hola, señor. Buenas tardes. No te preocupes, que vamos a explicar todo. What is this? Well, I'm sure that those are words somewhere, and what I hope he was telling you is that I am going to be taking that arm of yours today, and there's not much you're gonna, it's not voluntary, so. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. You're ridiculous. You're Pero que tenemos right. que cortar el brazo. Don't interrupt me. I... Que te calles, joder. Doctor, he says he understands perfectly. I mean, it's, it doesn't seem that hard to me to understand. That's why I bring the interrupter to these things. I still don't Pero understand. Pero calles. No, no, no. Hey, no, que te calles. That's... Pero que, que calles. Eh, stop. Pero stop. que, interrupt. Pero que, quit it. This is getting really frustrating. Escúcheme, que no, no. no sabe de, de lo que estás hablando. I don't understand. En serio. I, wait, wait, wait. I apologize, sir. Um, I think I, I think I see why you don't understand. Yo, could you send in the Russian interrupter? A Russian interrupter? Indeed, yeah, sir. Like, I, I, I'm just trying to explain that. Yeah. David, you pass the comment, sir. Me nyoza vut, Victor. Kok pasi vut? Well, look, this as is I'm ridiculous. sure, uh, yes, as I'm sure Boris, Boris, Victor, Victor, as I'm sure Victor just told you, uh, I mean, we're very competitively priced. I mean, I think I'm going to be chopping that arm off for about, like, it looks like $100,000 this week. So, I mean, it's a bargain. I mean, last week it was like 500 or something. I don't know. We just changed the prices a lot. Oh, first of all, Slushat! When they come to the Slushat, Nichiro! Slushat! When they come to the Slushat! Oh my god, enough! Enough! Sit down! I am chopping that goddamn arm off, and there is not shit that you are going to do about it. All right? And stop bitching, okay? Your insurance will cover like, I don't know, four or five thousand or something. So it's not like, I mean, you know? Look, Doc, um, I don't actually have insurance.
got another one? You mean tell me we got another one? Come on, hey, shit bird. What is this? Come on. Get your hands you think off you're me. just take advantage of the system? Get up, get no. Go. Shit bird. Get your hands off me. Huh? I can't register. Fucking tin rangers uh, trying to uh, take from the tankers? Huh? Come on. I was 12 hours dead. You can't fucking do that. Fucking moochers. What? Yeah, what? Huh? What? I hope your wife's a bitch. Oh, dude. He's right. What the fuck is this? Where's the dry cleaning? You were supposed to go pick up the dry oh. cleaning. When you get when home from a 12 hour cleaning, shift, the last thing you up. need is for her to start right. giving you lip. I don't know what you do when you get off of work. Why do Lucky you for you. Bushka Mills has got your back. Whatever that clock it is. Some days you just need to take a whole six pack and straight to your face. Because nothing drowns out her petty inane bullshit. Quite like the cool, refreshing flavor of Bushka Mills ripped label lager. When she gets lippy, get sippy. Fountain. With Bushka Mills coursing through your veins, you could stand to listen to her for decades. Which is perfect, because that's exactly how long you just might be stuck with that bitch. Bushka Mills Ripped Label Lager. Keeping loveless marriages together since 1946. Bushka Mills. Get ripped. Excuse me, your bullshit argument gave me a cough. Everybody's alright. Everybody's inside. Get the guys going. Like Speak America, our oil industry lobbyists, and that some shitty, I don't think we even, that some shitty liberal. Everybody's alright. Everybody's alright. You know, I'm a real dick. You can't talk to me like that. I just did, Nancy.